Trade your skins fast and safe on TradeSkinsFast.com. Fastest trading marketplace. Check it out now. Good shot of Marcel sneaking in from Cat. Zen's in corner. Depends on the timing. He could make this work. Oh, the problem is he's going to have his back exposed, Ooh. but he gets through the window, thankfully for him. MSL's not in a position to trade immediately, and the low HP. Zen's going to clutch for the second time in four rounds. There will be no utility deployed to slow down the CTs on the re-entrance. St. Chesto will get a headshot cleanly, swings out, finds AZ, innocent can bait off of him, doesn't even need to. The young Estonian. Rops is playing from his alu, follows in, but Rops, he's got the first kill already, flash, bounces off the box, and goes backwards, but it forces alu to turn, and he picks the round, four in a row for Mouse Sports. But spotted out instead by Rain. Plays from Z Connector. Keo's gonna try and work down ladder, but Rops waits for him. That causes problems because they were relying on him to catch off the players working in. And Kerrigan gets passed by Oscar. He goes directly beside him as Kerrigan pulls back, though. Contra he finds the AWP. Two seconds left, and already Rain is running. They'll find his second round in a row as we go 7 5. And it's one that probably could have paid off here, but not meant to be. Rops should find a few frags here. There's three. Oh. That's quite nice. Four in Polico. total, and the ace. They won't commit yet. Halo and Nico are at the bottom of the ramp, but I think they're going to be a distraction because Pop Dog and Bomb have something in common in that they're both in the same spot of the map. Lowell, Rops, they win their duels, but Rain's sneaking in. He's been found. It's going to be overtime because Lowell's got Kiyoshima as well. 15 15. Smoke deep, but simple between two of them. Give me flash on the corner now. He's flashed out, or at least a flash to deter. Toward the position, but he hasn't gone. You're right, he still could be. Guardian's trying to bait out the I'm, I'm still here on the other side of the smoke, it's just me. Don't worry about anything else. The inside of the action continues. And it worked because just as we see the action on B, which is C's trying to shut it down. Simple did get the kill at Ivy, but electronics pull it back yet again. It's we'll let it to hold Z connector, walk in and be greeted by his op. They have to be careful. This is the shot that's thankful. But it goes back for more. Guardian's not falling off the edge Ooh. of the wedge. What a shot! Electronic simple pulls it back and electronic bests him. The young star against the budding superstar that's kind of fizzled out, you have to say, especially on Navi as of late. Seven rounds flip side. That's amazing from Electronic. Let me see a replay from his POV that sounded crispy as hell, I have to say. Three players on the Kevlar. Mir's gone for the Deagle. And there are some nice uh, narrow angles. Oh, oh no. Blockerino. Oh dear, that's not a good start. Oh, that feels bad, doesn't it? That feels bad. We've all been there. We've all been there. And there's the first good one from Skadoodle. Has to be able to fall back here. Can't quite do it. Great flash in there from Stewie. And there's two players fast approaching for Stewie to try to take down, but they'll quickly get the trade. And it's two versus three here as Big march onto the B-bomb site. 25 seconds remain. Automatic making a play through the smoke. Shroud emerging from CT now. Didn't get there in time, but if, even if he did, he had no flash to uh, throw into Paul. Tabson looking for somebody to make their presence known, and now it's Shroud alone. One versus two. We've seen some absurd clutches from Shroud recently. Is he able to do this one? He has a kit. Doesn't have any grenades, but Shroud, he wants his AK, uh, his gun out. He spotted one player, but the second one hasn't revealed his position. He's in the same position, and he's not where Shroud will look. Even if he gets the first kill, he will never look for Godby in the same position. So it was a nice setup from Big. Note that flash on Banana for those of you at home. It's a really nice one to allow you to charge in. But Skadoodle is back again. Three kills for him. And Stewie is lying in wait in case he is required. But Skadoodle says no. Looking for the ace now. Not quite. 4k again for Skadoodle. He's going to rue that one. So close to two lovely aces is Skadoodle. On to get in safe. I love it. This is clever stuff. I mean, they're, NBK's just got them boxed in, at least. He has some information to go off of here. They've confirmed it. Three players here very early, but due to the quick rotate over from the B site, and Zeus will start things off. Just trade kills all over the place until Hobbit shows up and gets a trip on quad. Okay, then, Hobbit. No, uh, maybe, yeah. Yeah, that is. So that's just the old Hellraiser's sort of style of cutting up the middle. G2 falling back immediately. 
Not really too worried. They realize the push is going to come in through A main. Adren already on the bomb side quite quickly this time. More than a minute still. And the headshot through the smoke taking down Apex. Doja is going to fall next, but Adren still has such a good position right here. Flashbangs are in. He hits another headshot coming in. And Kenny's got no chance. A third one for the Kazakhstani player leaving shocks and body trying to stay alive. And just shot seeing a one on three now. He's on the bomb side. The flashes are in. He's going to get one, but it will be a quad kill for Adren. But they have an incendiary on Doja, so we'll see where he elects to use that. Not going to happen. He was lurking his way through B halls, and Apex was there to greet him. And so a two on two. Adren and Mo trying to work together here to get onto this B site. One good shot from Adren. Can he find Apex hiding in the corner? He's got the double. He can't get the triple. Adren will find him. Certainly. Given this is the only two over here, but that boost has been used quite a bit. And I'm, uh, Phelps is going to check it. Yep, sure enough. It's been used one too many times. Now you can't really get caught off guard by it. Have to admire Phelps for keeping his head and actually checking that angle. Cold and Phelps finding both kills to open up the B site. And that just comes down to experience. What veterans. Device, Device and Dupree, though. Two very quick kills coming right back here for Astralis. And now we're in a two on two retake. So that happened. Taco was lurking over at the A side, trying to catch any rotators out, but didn't do quite enough. He did get the one kill, but needed a bit more here. Bomb is ticking away right in front of Astralis, and they sort of have to go for it, even though losing this round would be a disaster. Missed shot from Device. Look, it was dead on. Dupree gets one. He can't get Cold Zero. What an absolute beast. Triple for him instead, and he's all the way up now to make it through. The bomb is going to be going down, and a kill on Fallen. It's a big step in the right direction. Device doing more work, taking down Phelps and surely just back off and save this. Don't take this fight. Uh, he's got this. He has every amount My of faith God. in his ability to hit the shots. And they're going to move together through as a unit. That's exactly what you need to do here. You've got the three. Move together. Stay tight. Cold. Watching to make sure nobody can flank from behind. He's keeping an eye on the site itself as Phelps and Taco move in as a duo. Kirby hits the shot, but that gives it away. Still, if Kirby can continue to hit the shots, then yes, he can, of course. Three headshots for him. In a round like this, if Fnatic had Molotovs and lots of them, this particular mm. setup would be dangerous. In a round where they don't, it should work out pretty well. We'll see if Fnatic can breach the gap here. Bihali just doing all the work with a triple. And Pasha with the last two, so... Really inching their way closer. We could have yet another out-and-out -out battle here. It could be just all-out chaos. Oops. That was not intended. And with this kind of a setup, it should be VP coming out on top. They've got a really, really great setup for it. All they have to do is try and slow down the push. Flick comes in, and Bihani actually does not want to challenge it. Even though he heard the shot come out. Mid-air, though. Pasha going to get the kill on Flusher. Near with one. JW and Dennis trying to fight their way back, but JW's down. They only have 12 seconds, and Pasha will get the kill on one, and the second two. Dennis is down and out. Pasha with the triple. We should win through and get onto the site. And it looks like that's going to be the game plan. Smoke's going down left and right here on the B site. Molotov's as well. Snacks turned away. And they're running close, and he knows it. There's the 5-7. And he could just set it up perfectly here. Pasha's chiming in with two kills of his own. So smart from Snacks. Taz is in there as well. It will be Pasha with the triple. Similar to what we saw yesterday as well. Pasha with the Deeg at least. But a single player on B. For Fnatic, this is not going to be a happy setup here. Dennis is going to do the best that he can, and this man with the pistol is absolutely insane. Three headshots, and this is not going according to plan for VP. Finally, Pasha will find him, but the damage is done, and Dennis is insane on B site with the pistol. Count on him. How is this even a thing? Especially, this, the most ridiculous part is that he jumps for this shot. Angle, but there's a second player that's shown up. Taz gets one. JW will go down to Neo as the refract, and he's going to push all the way into CT spawn. This very intelligent. All of my stuff coming out of it's quick and wrecking the whole round for Versus Pro. They had everything going their way. They were so focused on that CT spawn area, they just forgot about the vents, and they could have had at least two people covering it. Some sick awareness from Fnatic. Olafmeister started that rotation into mid pretty early on. And so they were fully covered on that B side if it came down to hit. Olaf, man, he just delivered. And now 1v2, 14 seconds left for Snacks. And well, there's the Molotov, unfortunately for him. Again, getting caught with a nade in his hand. Is he going to be able to make it back onto the site? Seven seconds. He's cutting it pretty fine here. Five seconds, and he just now starts the bomb plant. And it's not going to happen because Olafmeister is going to be there to. Oh! He won't win the round, but again, this time it goes their way. Making the play, and unfortunately this actually will work out for him. Neo will find one though, so at least it's a one for one trade. But he just makes it behind the box in time. Goes for the flash. Molotov is down, and still Neo is there to hit the headshot and make the difference.
two on two, and they line up for Viali and VP. They succeed in stopping the streak for Fnatic yet again. There's quite the effort here for Sonny and Crystal to go and reclaim it. That will be the case, though. And Sonny does pick up another kill, and JR is just still playing in the bomb site with these smokes. This is very dangerous. It's a make or break situation here for JR. Nice shot there. Catches Crystal. Oh, that's so fast, and that's exactly what we were looking at. I, I'd wonder. I wonder how much they are they are harming their buy in the next round. But maybe it won't even get that far because this is a three versus two. They've had great positioning here. This is a nice eco strat from them, but can they capitalize on this? Can they finish it off? Hutch you have a nice angle of the Deagle. There's a meat shield there, but it's Penta being the meat on the table, chopped up piece by piece. Perhaps more in stories. There's still these T's are just still standing in the connector. Yeah, this is a pug round. Hey chess. He has an opportunity. It would be a very important fourth round, but he's got JR who's looking for his fourth kill. Whoa. Won't get it this time. He so was going a, in, a, James. Yeah, there's a there's a fourth round. A first pick for oh. the CT side. And now things will get better for them. And it's just trying to hold down this short position and he will do so successfully with his third kill of the round. Now he's hungry for more kills. He's got Zen for support. Looking for the ace, but he will be denied. Zen with an insta trade. The UMP. Oh my goodness gracious me! Waylander 2 1 Deeks looking for number three. That would be outrageous stuff there from him. Already it is outrageous. Now, as we get the push coming in from phase, Waylander in position. They've read this play. And oh, the flick is stunning there from Waylander. Just leaves Nico in the apartments alone. One versus four. He does pick off well, did it? But he's got so much to do. Pulls out the deal. Eagle, but Waylander will finish him off. So hasn't worked out too well for them. Chris J's gotten some good tags. Flash in there to maybe lighten the load, get one player down. There it is. Very patient stuff here from Chris J. Oh, gets a dink there through the wall. Oh, the hold here coming in from AZ, but Chris J with just a few bursts through the smoke will do the job. If it could possibly be, where does he look? It's all about timing. It's all about connecting that shot. Config giving his position away, not connecting as he should in that spot. The smoke goes down to pressure the bomb. Config very paranoid right now that the defuse could be coming in on the smoke, but now he knows he's standing right there. Will he pull the knife out? That's the question. Oh, this is getting quite dodgy, but will eventually do it with the USP. So now the run and the gun, and oh dear. This is awkward. This looks really good for oh Mouse Force right now. They can't even get out the choke point. This is a massive disaster. Still five players alive wow. here for Mouse Force. If they manage to do this, they'll pick up all the guns. This cannot happen. AC has to do some damage. He's got four points of health. He can't really do it. Only one kill. Mouse Force, they've found their way with Config quite deep onto the stairs area. And they're going to dive through the broken wall. Lowell's going to boost himself up there, though. They're all blind. Lowell comes in from behind now, and things get very, very bad here. Three quick kills going either side right now. So it's one versus two now that we had that exchange by the Coop, and it's on Oscar. And there's still smokes down. Oh, almost a double, but not quite. But he's got the information, and that's the important part, isn't it? As now he's looking for another re engagement. Waiting for the perfect moment to strike here, using the flashbangs to cover him. And now just backing away. And he can try to force his opponent to plant. Oh. The repositioning here from Oscar is so smart. Oh no! Oh my goodness gracious me. Pulls out the pistol. So many targets. Two-man spray down. That is monstrous. He can play with these angles now. He's got some space created. The grenade is out, but he's going to go straight into the face of Magisk. Dennis with a nuclear play for Mouseports. He's top of the leaderboard. He's just 30 bombed for his team. It's not one just yet, though. Config picking Oscar off. Dennis trying to reposition. It's a completely weird angle. He had no time to reload there. He had to play with the bullets that were left because they would have heard him. 2-1-2. Two two. He's done great work for his team. Yeah, he really has done Great work. Can Lowell follow it up though? Ooh, Chris J just peppering <laughs> in the back there very calmly, very patiently. He has a Mag 7 though, so you can see why he's using the USP. That might make life difficult, but he can collect the AK 47s, of which there are numerous on the ground now as he faces up against Cage and B. Now it's all about the timing and the angles here. And oh, there's an angle. So much damage done to Chris J. Down to 15, down to 1 for Cajun. How is he alive? Oh, and he's going to get it as well. Three rounds in a row. This is, uh, this is what. Nobby like to do. Edward and Guardian at long. Edward pushed up by Tree, looking for the shots. He's got Guardian there as well to help him out. And eventually, Edward, is he actually going to find a kill or not? Somehow he's still alive. And there, finally, one headshot. Gets the second, looking for the third. And he's going to find that as well. Edward, there you go.
that's the kind of level that Navi need to bring to the table here to start things off. Moving in with the AWP, they only have 14 seconds. They need to end this round right now. The bomb is dropped. Simple with another kill, making it a double. Looking for the triple. And last couple of bullets, he's going to do it and stealing the AWP. The rest of the bush coming in towards the B bomb site. Henny gets one. KNG with the next. And now it's a two on one. Guardian trying to jump through the smoke. They don't hit him the first time. Re peeking into the scope. He gets one. Guardian trying for the second. He actually hits Henny on that shot. The smoke is up and he's hiding inside. Flick not going to connect. The pistol is out instead. And he's right in front and he's going to win it this time. It's That's a bit too close to the edge, I would mm. say. But the upside is they're keeping Navi's economy really uh, low. And as long as they can continue that, they should be in a good position. <laughs> there you go, there you go. I just love it. I think it's so amazing. The Immortals are just looking fantastic right now. Vassal and Sewer, KNG with a couple of clicks, Henny as well, and moving in, KNG almost gets the next, but Simple oh. with the triple return. Oh, damn, what a shot from Henny, but he doesn't realize there is an army coming for him. He's smoked up on one side, grenades are rushing in, he's gonna get one more kill, close range, gets a headshot on that one, and finally they take down Henny, but that's a remarkable triple kill. They done for Navi, they're able to back off, and now it's the after plan. Point blank from KNG, though, assassinates Guardian. And he can get the angle on a short as well, but Seize will find his teammate Lucas. Okay, NG trying again. Henny's there. The double orb is in the play, and it's the retake as well. It's so hard to do, but KNG gets a kill. Trying again. Henny tapping the bomb a single time. KNG getting one more frag. It's now a triple for him, and Flamey's on the other side, denying the bomb. Hiding in the corner. KNG picking it up for the clutch and the defuse. Absolutely ridiculous. AK, though. 30 seconds on the clock, and now Skadoodle is making a move, and so is Kenny. They almost time it perfectly. Kenny's managed to sneak his way past, no longer visible from the drop. Skadoodle is walking right in behind him. 18 seconds. Skadoodle is realizing, but he doesn't want to make any noise at all. The bomb, at least, will be going down here for Kenny, and now he's in such a good position. A lot of these angles here for Skadoodle are just going to be headshot, and he's going to run all the way out. One big thing is here, Skadoodle has a smoke and the kit, so he's got some utility. If he doesn't go down straight away to Kenny, he might be able to just get the smoke down with Kenny walking in. Long range spray! So much Skadoodle lives. Oh no, smoke is gonna go up. There's a bounce right on top. He taps it once, then goes for the long play. Kenny doesn't realize that he's not inside the smoke on top. He still gets the kill for the quad, and G2 gonna pick it up. And not really connecting yet. Stewie close range with the P250, getting a kill. Shroud as well, picking up the M4, but he can't get the kill. Automatic gets one, and now it's all or nothing again, just like the previous round. They know where he is with the deagle. They've already heard it ring out, and Shocks will get the frag. Very well done for the French, although it's getting scary for a moment. Nothing was holding the angle. They know that he's close, though, so they can communicate, but that sets it up for Stewie to find a shot for free. Nothing goes down, but a lot of focus right now on the American side. Stewie will get the kill on shocks, and Kenny goes down as well as Stewie with a very good round once again for play. But Dude, 20 seconds. Yeah, they need to go right now. Otherwise, these two players might just make it work. MBK is coming to try and see if he can backstab them on the side. 15 seconds there. Skadoodle is automatic as well. Where's MBK? He needs to crack it open once again. He's done so much already, but he needs to do just a bit more. Eight seconds, and he goes down to automatic. And Body's going to get dropped, and it's overtime. Everybody else, they can give fire through the wall. Oh, Apex gets one. And then nanosecond later, he is done. Automatic with the refrag. Kenny trying to get back, but he's flashed. He can't see a single thing, and he's going to be down now. It's Body taking two big frags, going for the spray, and that's it. 19-17, G2 make it through in overtime against Cloud9. The vent right now, 25 seconds remaining. That's exactly where we'll go, down towards that position. I think the Vice has his number, though. Hearing the footsteps, we'll call up those teammates. They'll get shot out with the Vice to probably find this frag on Crims. Bomb will make its way to the bomb now. The ramp, Crims. Just gonna bait out the shot, can't do it. Bomb gets planted. It's a device that's gonna get ever closer to Crims. He's not gonna have the awareness, but turns back just in time. GW already gets KRB, it's on Zipix. Tech 9, the king of the clutch, as it were, in Katowice. He's already got one kill, doesn't know that GW's gotten off it, however. Finding Olaf now for free because he thinks that outside's covered. There it is, perfect headshot. Down he goes, Flusha got completely beat by patient and clever tactics of Glaive. It's Dennis below on the ramp that's in the corner. He'll find Glaive in return, and they get too close together to go for an immediate trade. So 
take back the gun. Ooh. Dennis with a fast shot to find Zipix as well. That media trade while distracted as they flash into heaven. Three players left for Astralis against the two of Fnatic, JW and Crims. They both play both at main entrance and in secret. And as one covers off, Glaive takes down Crims. Plant should easily come through. JW has to go for it, round 15 to start it. John said, decent shot to kick things off as well. Low HP, Zipex in front of him as the bomb goes down. Now it's a 1v1. Up to Kiabi to deny him. JW looking fierce in the final round. Changes his angle immediately. Kiabi still anticipates it. There's no smoke to cover off the entrance from Hutt. So back through the window. He's changed again. And he's caught out Kiabi, who expected the doorway and found the window. Oh, it's yeah. off on the bomb. Won't matter. Diffuse for Fnatic. Ten rounds on the CT side. And the secret area. That's where Olaf Mice is heading very quickly indeed. Very quickly. There's no way that Device ooh, wins the affair in the race to position, but in doing so, Olaf tagged up considerably. 51 HP. Should be a follow up for Device, but not if Olaf hits shots like that. It may still go the way of Astralis because Glaive finds two. So too does Dupree. But there's T spawn presence. They've just thrown the smokes, I believe. Yes, indeed, they have. Looks like they're following them up with four players towards that exact position. Trying to battle as well. Olaf Mice in front of the smokes, trying to take a player down, but Device has moved again. He's so aware, so good. I it's love an it. shot. I love the dynamics play from this. The op is going to stay forward, though. Flames at his feet! Nearly got two, in fact, did do damage to both. Flusha stays on it with 14. Moving over to the second, Device just shutting it down. What was this? Like he said, it's been Fnatic, been hitting those headshots all game long. But Device, three kills in total. His teammates did their best to throw the round away, but they just about pulled it off with some good utility usage. Dupree, he looks exhausted. That was a difficult game. That was not an easy win by any stretch of imagination. If they walk out, Amin, who controls Sandwich, Neo therefore just has to watch off Ebox. Adren's going to head that direction. It's Bialy that turns to realize it late. Adren gets the jump. Neo's in the open. Adren finds a second. Snacks. Has to do it all because he's lost Pasha. First kill success in return, but Dren's down to 6 HP. 15 seconds, bombs at B. So they've actually they faked it entirely. That's going to be, yeah, exactly, the round because Snacks, the man we called to be the hero, was calling for help on the other side. Molotov, in fact. Not quite stacked, slightly staggered, but takes away Ooh. positional control. Good shot, Pasha. Yeah, very good shot. That's worked perfectly. Snacks taking out all the way aggro as well. That pulls Dosia to connect. He's not looking it up around. But Pasha keeps landing shots. Three in total. All headshots as well. That's going to be the round done. Five on two. Nothing to work with, but Pasha trying to find his next kill. Yeah, does make one. Spin back for Adren immediate. Counter. Neo takes out two, so ever it'll give them room as he finds Adren as well. This will pull it back to two versus two. Watch for Taz. Just barely getting inside of the site. Or detected. If Mo had gotten even an inch closer and the AWP goes back towards Old Bomb instead. It's up to Doja to find room. M4. Well, this timing. Neo is looking away tentatively. Oh, God. Good work out for Doja, but Neo is ready and waiting. Up to Mo now. AWP might just save the weapon. That was a five on three. That's all he gets. Well, it gets indeed. He had downed. Well, getting Phelps down with an aid. Fallen finds Keeve. He has gone towards CT. No smoke out yet. It will go now. He's going to time it with the smoke, though. Knows that one of the weapons drawn and fallen and cold go down to Lagia. At always, you know, you don't want to call teams worn out necessarily, but, you know, FaZe, so good for so long. And then into this event, a slump hits. It, it, you question sort of quick shoulder checks. Remember, M4 in this position. It's the AWP that's lit them up on a few occasions. And they are going to go toward the arch. So Tabson becomes a massive factor in the f watching through it from CT. In fact, he's going to flash good. through it. That's going to catch the double flash, double blind. Like it doesn't peek on it. Ooh, Molotov does so much damage though because they're blind and they're in the flames and they're in the grave. Tabson with two. Fur has to be forced back off as another Molotov lands directly in front of the area, if you will. Good push from Gobby to capitalize. Backup plan is B. Phelps is opening it. Cold already has got B down, but he's got to run quickly, and this has to be held. Tapson says no. It's on to Cold in a one versus three. Surely not. He's got a gun out, thankfully, because Tapson has gone by the smoke. Jumps up, no noise. Jumps up, no feet spotted. Jumps he's up, sees Cold, and Big is in the playoffs in their first ever major. 3-0 taking down world number one and world number three.